Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. Now today I'm going to talk about a book that not very many people have actually seen and there's a reason for that and we'll go through that as I go through this video. But as you can see in front of me, it's a Hypervenom 1, okay, so it was released, this was released in 2014 and it was released for Miroslav Klose when he became the all-time top goal scorer in World Cup Finals and Knight decided to try and do something special for him by giving him a Hypervenom which he'd worn in the 2014 uh, World Cup in Brazil. They wanted to give him a special edition of the football boot which was very exciting. Now I remember going back to the time that when you looked on the Nike website in the USA they had it under the upcoming releases section and lots of boot heads were ready for it to come out and stuff like that and then all of a sudden it just got deleted from the website and it was never heard of again and then a couple of pairs seemed to get leaked out in the states because on ebay.com about five or six pairs seemed to get released to people and I know a few people that bought them and stuff like that and they bought them for about retail price now on the actual box here I'll show you the front of it here it actually has the retail price at $300, which for, you know, a limited edition, I guess, would be about right at the sort of time. And they called it a special edition rather than a limited edition on the box, which I'm not sure why they did that, but it's what they wanted to do at the time. And the boot itself is fantastic. If you are a fan of the Hypervenom 1, and we've discovered over the last few weeks that lots of people are now posting about the Hypervenom 1, yes, it had durability issues, yes, there was little things wrong with the boot, don't get me wrong, but the boot itself, I think most people would pretty much say that it was one of the best boots that Nike have made for a long, long time. And they released this special football boot. Now, colour-wise, you know, it's nothing outstanding. I think it's a great looking boot, don't get me wrong. You know, they've, what they've done here is they've put like a leather across the top of the honeycomb uh, upper on the Nike skin upper, and it is fantastic. The leather feels amazing on it. You can still see the honeycomb sort of effect on the leather, so they've just put the leather over the top of it. And the Nike swoosh that you can see on it, They've actually sort of made like a, like a so almost like it's been laser etched into it rather than just um, put onto like a, a cover over the top of the upper. So fantastic finish there for it. And the Nike switch itself is actually quite rough. When you put your finger on it, it's a little bit rougher than the rest of it. I've got Hypervenom written down the side. The main features come when you go to this side of the boot. Now this is number 62 out of 100. It's got 16 on there for the number of goals that Close has scored. It's got his name above it. I'll just show you up the camera a little bit closer there. You can see the badge on the side of the fill boot. And one of the best features of it is, is that it's actually an SG football boot. They made it for soft ground, which is what most professionals actually tend to wear uh, in games and stuff like that. They put the red studs at the front, the gold studs at the back. And again, very cool that they also gave you an extra pair, an extra set of studs here in the little test tube for you, should you need to actually wear, them, uh, wear these and then you're going to replace them. Can't imagine many people wearing this on the pitch, for being completely honest with you. But yeah, fantastic. It's some really nice touches on this football boot as well. The end of the laces, they've got the Germany flag. I'm just got holding here to show you. The Germany flag on the end of the lace there and the number, uh, the year 2014 put on the side. I'll try and get up to the camera for you to see. So yeah, some really, really nice touches on this football boot. Now we've seen a few special edition hypervenoms. We saw Wayne Rooney had a special edition. Harry Kane had a special edition of one as well. So there are some great players, but out of all the limited editions that they've done, they did the Transforms limited edition as well, which I believe was 500 pairs. But this one is the most special of all the Hyper Venoms out there. You know, this is the one that I get quite a few people messaging me saying, are you ever going to sell us one? And the answer to that is quite simply, no, I'm not. Um, and this is an outstanding, outstanding football boot that was needed to complete my Hyper Venom 1 collection. So a big thank you to the collector who sold these to me so I could get them. And they're just a great, great football boot. The Hyper Venom 1, let's say lots of people are talking about it because of the featured DNA pack, the Phantom Vision was given the original colorway of the Hyper Venom. So it's a lot in the news just now. If you, on Instagram, there's lots of people talking about the Hyper Venom 1 again. Should we get a one-to-one -one remake of it and stuff like that? You know, I, I it's quite easy for me to say I absolutely love the football boot. I enjoyed wearing it. And this is one of the best boots in my collection without a shadow of doubt because there's not many collectors have got this boot like that. As I said, a few players, a few pairs of the boot were leaked out through eBay and stuff like that. I don't know what happened to the 100 pairs, you know, 10, 15 of them have leaked out of Nike. I can only guess they're either sitting in someone's warehouse somewhere and they're never going to get released or, you know, people have got them who aren't collectors, some Nike employees and stuff like that and they've never actually passed them on to anyone. So. Anyway, so there you go. That's the Miroslav Klose Hypervenom 1 original, the limited edition. Uh, only 100 pairs, I say. This is number 62 and an absolute gem in my collection. So what do you think of this boot? Are you a fan of it? I'm quite surprised Knight didn't release it in all honesty. It's such a prestigious thing. You know, imagine if Cristiano Ronaldo was suddenly to become the top goal scorer in World Cup final history, I think they would do a boot from it and it would definitely get released. So it's a bit of a shame that 
Miroslav Klose, yes, he's not the most high-profile player, but, you know, the record speaks for itself. So I am surprised Nike didn't do something for him. But, you know, what do you think of it? Do you like the boot? Do you think Nike should have released this football boot? Because at 100 pairs, would it become one of the most sought-after boots that people would be looking for right now? So it's six years ago, so it's hard to find. I mean, there's only 100 pairs of a football boot. It's hard to find them six years later. So, anyway, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching the video again. Please give it a like if you can, and also you know, tag a few friends if you think they've never seen this book before, but they might want to see the video. Tag your friends below, and I hope to speak to you all again very, very soon indeed.